So here's our simple linear regression, the same chart, salary versus experience. We've got these uh, red dots, which represent the actual observations that we have in our data. And we've got the trend line, which represents the best fitting line or um, the simple linear regression model. So now let's draw some vertical lines from the actual observations to the model. And let's look at one of these specific examples to understand what we're talking about here. So here you can see that the red cross is where that person is sitting at in terms of salary. So let's say this person with uh, 10 years of experience is earning $100,000. Well, the model line, so the black line at the bottom, it actually tells us where that person should be sitting according to the model in terms of salary. And according to the model, it should be a bit lower. It should be um, somewhere where that green cross is, which is about maybe, let's say, $80,000. So now the red cross is called YI, so Y of the subscript I, and that is the actual observation. The green cross is called YI hat, and that is the modeled observation or the modeled value. So basically with those, that level of experience, where would he be, where does the model predict that he would be earning? And so the green line therefore is the difference between what he's actually earning and what he should be earning. So, uh, or not should be, what he's modeled to be earning. So therefore the, the green line, it, it will be the same regardless of what uh, dependent variable you have, whether it's salary, whether it's grade at school, whatever. So it's the difference between the observed and the modeled for that level of independent variable. Now, to get this best fitting line, what is done is you take the sum, you take uh, each one of those green lines or those distances, you square them, and then you take the sum of those squares. Once you have the sum of the squares, for you got to find the minimum. So basically, what a simple linear regression does is it draws lots and lots and lots of these lines, these uh, trend lines. Well, this is like a simplistic way of imagining it. The linear regression draws all these, um, all possible li trend lines through your data and counts the uh, some of those squares every single time and it uh, rec records it somewhere in, in a temporary you know, for file or something like that. And then it finds the minimum one. So it looks for the minimum sum of squares. It finds a line which has the smallest sum of squares possible. And that line will be the best fitting line. And that is called the ordinary least squares method. So that's how the simple linear regression works. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.